確認してくれ。かしこまりました。
しよう。僕がある。なんか言うか。どうかしたか承知した。
ってくる。おおや。とするか There it goes, another blow. I'd say if I ever do redo this one, I'd probably try it as um, Liu Yu. He was one that I was really looking at too. It was kind of a close call between them two. 
And Dong Jewel too. We might get it. We might trigger a duel against him. Uh, we could send backup too at this point. It is South Cell. Wen Chao will probably slow him down enough. Once they get wrapped up and then. Barely moving, which is good. Okay, we have all that set up. Yuang Xi's on his way over there. Li Tong's heading back. Ooh, 44 loyalty. Yuan Shao. What a Completely tanked. We need to get him. Love these I really really love these fictional scenarios. I think this well honestly our ROTK fourteen has the best and I guess this isn't this is kind of an obvious thing, but if you buy this and you get the expansion for it, the strategy and uh whatever it's called. You have so many scenarios in this in this version of uh, romance. It's easily the highest When you consider the historical and the fictional and for me personally because I love fictional scenarios, you know as I've uh, Been playing the series for years and years now I really have grown to appreciate the fictional scenarios because it turns everything on its head in terms of the officers and the positions and I love the ones that are just very close you know the what if ones that are just like slightly tweaked you know you you have a history of heroes you've always had a history of heroes ones where it's just the kitchen sink everybody's just plopped down but that one just feels like uh, oh, excuse me that one just feels like uh, an insane uh, like a sandbox like uh like way too many toys all the toys are just everywhere and I like these ones where you just have a little you know you just follow this little fictional story along and this one is just great it's got so much I really liked ROTK 9 for that reason it had some really nice takes wow it worked that's the most useful she's been what did it lower to? Didn't really say. See, he's wasting his time with you sending guys in the ring formation that chase down bandits. That's the thing about it. He can't manage his internal empire. Come on, you want shot? You gotta be fucking kidding. Is he going around the top of it now? Yeah, he's going back around the top. Yes, we got Yuan Shao. Got Yuan Shao, awesome. Well, at least we went for it. Never know. I don't know about this fight, but at least he's got another city, so... got tied up on the camp. I should have considered that. I don't know why I didn't. South Saw just made a bunch of trouble for us and then he got away. 
know what? Wen Chao should just return because he's draining our food and he's all the way out here. And we'll, we'll just let uh, Ji Ling do his thing. I'll send somebody to deal with that bandit. Wang Zhu should be good in naval, right? So. So yeah, the the nearest one for me would be uh, Romance Nine. Had the second best mix of fictional and um, historical scenarios, and then Romance Eight, of course, had a scenario for every year. So that one was just insane. I mean, absolutely insane. If you're a real nuanced player and and you're you know. You want to really pinpoint a very specific situation and starting point. Uh, Romance 8 on the PS2. That is your game. Every single year is a scenario. It's playable in that game. Every year. I think it starts from 184. So 184, 185, 186. And I think then it stopped for a little bit. And then it starts at 189. And then from 189 it goes all the way up to... Uh, Almost till the end. There's a there's a gap, like a 40 year gap between where it only highlights a few scenarios during uh, Jiang Wei's northern campaigns. So it goes all the way up to like 228 or 29 and then it skips to 245, 46, 47, something like that. And then it skips again to, to Fall of Shu, but you've got about 40 scenarios in that one. It's unbelievable. Okay, did they arrive over here? But this one to me uh, has just amazing content in terms of scenarios. If you just want a ton of scenarios to play in. And they basically come as close as they're ever going to come to letting us make our own in terms of the DLC options with the. Uh, scrambling the forces and stuff like that because they'll never let you make your own from scratch because then what would be the point of buying a newer version you know you could just pick your a lot of people would just stay on their favorite version and just create scenarios for that one if that was a feature but this one's come I think as close as possible to that with the uh, scrambling starting position and all that Okay, what else can we do? Is your one chow here already? Should be. Thanks. Now we have the noble house of Yuan backing us. Alright, there's his counterattack. Hopefully he's got Sun Sei out there. Oh my god. Sun Sei, Zou Yu, Cheng Pu. I think he's gonna be just fine. Zhang Yi's got caught up on a trap back there. He was ready for him. I don't think my tank is going to hold it, but maybe once it falls, then Dong Jiu will have a try at it. He's not training, but he's recruiting. That's weird. That's bizarre. Okay, we're almost at 191. We're almost at the intentions of two Yuans. going to make it to the boat, right? Okay.
going to be at this for a little while. Could use somebody to draw. Ah, I forgot that old Gene is back. We need to put him as our summoner here. Okay, so what we really need is somebody to be over uh, Yandu's core. So let's see, let's call somebody over. One of the things I will say that's kind of slowing me down a little bit is because I'm getting such a mix of officers. It's giving me a little bit of analysis paralysis where I'm just trying to figure out who's best situated where moving forward. Oh, we don't need a drill master. Just wait a little bit, let our supplies stock up, and then we'll start. Actually, we're in early December. We can probably start trying to recruit again. Our two best guys are out. 900, that's... That's... I guess we'll wait. What you want shall I have? Commanding General, Overseer, okay. Formations, he has Tower and Ram. We could use him, we could send Yuan Shao towards Shu. Get Shang Lu out of there. I would send Zhang Ren with him into Shu, but I think I'd rather have Zhang Ren closer to my frontline cities. Because he's just one of the best. One of the best generals that you never get to use. Because he's stuck in Shu all the time. Banquets. I don't think we need banquets right now. Public order, but it's... Kai He recommending that, so that's a waste. Like maybe we send a transport out to Jiangxia right now. Let's see. Okay. Try hidden poison again. See if we can get some bandits to spawn here. Okay. He's got 10 officers active here, so he's going to be able to consolidate here. And by who's sort of holding out. He did him a favor by pushing him back. Now he's got all his officers in one city. Alright, so let's watch this. All these soon officers clashing here. Okay. 
張するのご期待に添えず。I do feel like siege weapons should be a little bit stronger in terms of defense. Like I know it's siege weapons, but there's still soldiers under them that can sort of defend themselves somewhat. I hate this attack route. This is exactly what I had to do in my, my very first playthrough on the channel. Um, I had to play as, um, oh, his name is slipping my mind right now. <sighs> Played the 184 scenario. No, not the 184, the 186. And, or 187. The guy that Gong Zun Jang gets sent out to put down over here in the corner. And I was attacking Gong Zun Jang. And let me tell you, this route on the boats is very slow. It's just pick your poison when you're coming out of this corner. It's either the mountain's terrain or the ships. And it's a very slow route. It takes a long time. And I think it took me, in fact, a very long time to get out of this corner and start to, you know, spill out onto northern Hay Bay. Wow, it's completely repelled. It's the thing about out Outlanders, they don't have a high demolish, I guess. Well, at least we don't have to worry about Dongzhou and Ma Teng eliminating each other. Well, we could take this, but because we're in a coalition, we're not going to get any hexes out of it. So. Somebody better than Kai He we could put there. Tian Feng. Yeah, Tian Feng. Let's put him there. Chao's got 21 Conquer Land, that's insane. It might be best to kick out. I think our transporter... Yep. Okay, so once we raise some troops, we'll send our next detachment. We'll have Yuan Chao attack Jianzhu and see if we can start pushing into Shu. We'll basically recreate uh, Liu Yan's Shu over time. I don't think we have much else to do. Let's try hidden, hidden poison again. So we can make trouble with banditry for this guy. I'm definitely gonna do it. Cinder planner. Plots are favored. Let's check the employee. Chen Lin quit. Don't know that so Hong will join us, but maybe. Oh, Liu Yan's a recruiter, so I don't want to send him out. Alright, let's search. Almost broken it. Oh, that's taken a while, but 
Oh, he's gonna have 20,000. He's probably gonna attack Oak Sing. So, we're not in a position to help. I think we have to do something about this. This is a this is like a beachhead for him. He can strike all sorts of er territories. Okay, did they destroy these guys or? It's just a siege in Zhang He. Zhang He is going to be surrounded. Going to be cut off in a second. going all the way around. Marching towards Jianling. Heading over here. This is actually closer. Okay, so just have Jiling beat by a little bit. He's gonna need some help. Could send Wen Chao down there. Let them duke it out. More of the welcoming party ready for him. Who's on this port? We're not getting anything done there. Plus three. Let's just swap him over. Go oh, wait, it's almost done. <laughs> Never mind. Whoops. It's almost done. I can't, couldn't tell the shade. Couldn't see it very well. Okay, and here? Alright, it's almost done here too. Continue. Apologies, you may continue. South South at 57. And this guy won't declare independence. He's Viceroy too. I wonder what would happen if that worked. Can we send more than one person? No. Um. Not enough gold at the main base. I want to try this. I want to try this with with a few people. It would be really something if that worked. Also, as Viceroy, I wonder if he'd lose multiple cities. Probably just breaking the, uh, yeah. Just getting there. 
he's gonna be wiped out. So I guess let's watch Gongzun Jang's attempt. Now if they don't take the port, they're gonna be cut off and stranded. It's probably gonna happen. And it happened to me. I had to learn that the hard way. The very first time I played this game. Gonna build a fort there. Ah, oh, we were almost at eight eight days. We were closing in. We we're like at six or seven days. Oh, one of the side members broke out. The brothers. Mateng lost the city. Disease and Zitong. Zhang Lu finally got Chu. He always wanted it. Okay, he needs to hurry up. Alright, once he takes that, I'll just have him sit there and wait for him. Right, he's deployed. He's got more units heading our way. Of course he does. He doesn't have to worry about anything on, out here. Oxing is probably not going to attack, even though he's got 12 officers now. Holy crap. More bandits. This is a troubled area. I always get bandits here, too. Around this core. Consistently, I always get Nanman units. We could try to send a ship down. We could be attacked, though. I hate to have a boat halfway down here and then have to turn it around. That being said, we're still gonna try it. Still gonna go for it, don't get me wrong. He has expelled, at least that's something. Oh no, he's got ring and snake. He could be... We don't have anybody to send them. We could send this guy. He's reckless. Nope. He's recruiting. Oh, it's just a goose. How long is it going to take him to even reach the shoreline? It's going to take him eight days to get to the shoreline. Thirty-five days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll send them anyway, but... That's pretty disappointing. Done. Let's try hidden poison. Fifty eight keeps going down. No overseer. I guess that's that's why. You don't recommend our planner. That's weird. Alright. Search, see if we get lucky. Maybe we'll find somebody. Maybe the news of uh, Kai Zong working his way down there will turn around. 
Zhang Jiao's forces. Maybe he'll scare them witless. Yikes, he's gaining on him fast. Oh, he's gonna get cut off. Oh, he just... Okay. Okay, so we'll let him keep the port. And we gotta keep one chow sort of back a little bit. So we don't, we don't want to charge those assault rooftop. Uh, what are those called? Those boats. Alright. I hope Gong Soon Jen can do something. I know that between these two guys, they'll definitely be able to keep taking. Uh, retaking on Ding, or at least fighting for it. But, uh, alright guys, that's gonna be it for this one. Uh, we'll be back with another one, I think. Maybe Friday? Maybe Friday. We'll have an, an, I'll have another one up. I'm trying to learn the uh, Nobunaga's Ambition game, so I'm going to be uploading my first video for that probably on Thursday. Um, but be forewarned, I have no idea what I'm doing in that game. So It's going to be a learning experience. But uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the playthrough so far. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe. Uh, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of this one. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Until then, take care.